Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and today I'm going to be drawing, give me two seconds, one, two, I'm going to be drawing uh, this guy. This guy is the, spoiler alert, in three, two, one zero the nin specialist that is supposed to take the the seal off of the phantom troop leader's heart so he can use nin again that's who this guy is so um i figured i'd draw him before he ends up uh putting himself in the hood and then walking around aimlessly looking for I don't know what. But let's get into this.
finished. In my opinion, this one was a little bit more simple to draw. Um, there's not that much about it in hindsight. There's not that much that went into this picture. The it uh, I don't know whether to say it's good or if I would say it's bad, but when you're doing when you're doing art, you have to be able to have a critical uh, look on things and be able to judge whether or not something is actually good and whether or not something is actually bad. And so for me, I would never say anything I draw would be considered good because I actually, as an artist, you have to have an eye to actually know what is considered good. So I would look at somebody else's art and I can be like, if it's actually good, I can be like, I can actually have an opinion because I can form an opinion because I have an eye for what looks good in my opinion. A lot of artists, I guarantee if you take a lot of professional artists versus people that are just starting out and you ask them what do they think looks better, an, an artist will look at like the detail that went into this piece of art and the way it looks and be like, oh, this is a good piece right here. And then somebody else might end up looking at something that maybe just has a bunch of bright colors. And they'd be like, oh, I think that this one looks better. Who's to say who's right? But, you know, it's the drawing's not just um, the end result. It's the technical aspect. So anything that went into drawing it would make the art either better or worse. Point being, if, uh, I mean, example being, if you were to take something... And you were to, if I was to take this picture, and I was to look at it, and I was to go, I want to draw this, but I want to draw it fast. I have to get this done. I have to go somewhere, right? If I drew this, and it came out a little bit worse than this, but it was still mildly good, would it be considered bad or good? I think that it would be considered bad because of the process that led up to the end was rushed and it wasn't it wasn't um to the best of that person's ability but the more time a person puts into one piece the better off it'll be i'm not saying that with my art but i'm saying like a lot of artists that's why they have a sketchbook sketchbooks are for rough sketches they're for something fast um well some people cuz i know this one artist on youtube i don't know him but he, uh, all his sketchbooks look amazing and it's crazy. I, w I want to make sketchbooks like that. I don't want to make sketchbooks that are like rough, like unfinished pieces. I want to put like rough finished pieces. Like they are like, they look really good for being in a sketchbook. That's the type of sketchbook I want to make. But that's my rant. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace. Love. Thanks for watching.